Your third option in Adobe Illustrator for your final project is to create a minion based on the minions that were in the Despicable Me movies. And if we go do a Google search for minions, you'll see this kind of thing. And I'm going to pull one of these up a little bit bigger. I'm kind of using this guy on the left here as, as sort of an inspiration for what for what I created and for what uh, the few things that I'm going to show you here. And it's not going to look just like him. It's not going to be perfect. That's a much better um, in, uh, rendering of a, of a minion than what we're going to be able to do in Adobe Illustrator. But what we're going to do is the best that we can. So uh, let's take a look at the other things that go along with this. Uh, this is the minion option. And remember, you have to pick one of these three options, the robot, the monkey, or the minion. If you decide to do the minion, here are requirements. It has to be built entirely in Adobe Illustrator out of the shapes and the tools that are available in Adobe Illustrator. I do have an example on my website that you can look at for inspiration. The minion's head and uh, body must be yellow. That's how it was in the movie, so it has to be yellow. Um, the minion's eyes have to include the white part of the eye, the, uh, the colored iris, and then the pupil. So you have to have those parts uh, to the eye. All right? We did some character work, so that shouldn't be too hard. And then the minion also has to have goggles, and the minion has to have hair. So those are all the required elements here. If you choose this option, uh, you need to save your work on your network drive. Uh, again, the way we're naming these is your final project, it's an illustrator option, and you're making a minion. So just think those three things, final, illustrator, minion. Call it that when you save it so you'll know what it is. Submit it on My Big Campus, and again, this is your final project. It's an illustrator option, so you'll turn it in for that portion of the final project. You'll say final illustrator, and that's where you would turn it in. All right, now let's get to Adobe Illustrator here. We'll work our way over. And here's one that I already made. Let me get some panels and things out of the way here so you can see a little bit better. Now this obviously isn't perfect. If you compare this to what you would find on a Google image search, it doesn't look exactly like a minion, but the idea is there. The head shape is kind of the same, and uh, it's yellow, and it's got the hair, and the goggles, and the eyes, and uh, it's got a mouth, and so that's the kind of thing that we're shooting for. By the way, back here on my website, if I back this up one level, if you click on the minion where it says example, you'll see that little guy there. And you can look at that as much as you would like or do a Google image search for minion and, and work on it from there. You know, Part of the grading here will be my judgment on, on how well you did with just getting all of that put together the right way. All right, well, let's take a look here. You know, when you get started, I'm going to give you a few tips. When you get started here, click File, click New, and choose your orientation and click OK. Now, for the head shape here, there's actually a lot of ways you could do it. A rounded rectangle isn't a bad way to go. All right, so w with a rounded rectangle, while you're drawing it, if you tap the up arrow or the down arrow on the keyboard, you'll see, and if I tap this down arrow enough, you'll see that the, the corners aren't really hardly even round anymore. i got to go a long way, but I could take this all the way to where it's really not even a rounded rectangle. If I tap the up arrow, it rounds the corners more and more, and it kind of gets pretty close to the right kind of shape there, you know? That doesn't look too bad, right? About like the, That's a, a good shape for the top of the head. Now remember, our minion has got to be yellow. And actually, I'll just cancel that because there's probably a good yellow swatch up here, so I'll just get yellow. You could stroke it a little bit if you want to. All right, now, I don't really want that whole uh, rectangle there, I don't think. So what I'm going to do is take the regular rectangle and stretch it kind of across the bottom part of this, about like that, get both of those selected, and use the good old Pathfinder to do a minus front. I will cut that off a little bit. Now, if you really, if you don't like, it makes kind of squarish corners down here. So if you don't like those, you could take the white arrow tool and select that corner and convert it to a smooth corner. And I could do the same thing here. I could convert that one to a smooth corner. And maybe that looks a little bit better. Maybe you like that a little bit better. Right? I can even stretch those out and curve it a little bit more if I wish. All right, so for a basic minion shape head, that's pretty good. 
All right, so now let's work on some of the other components that you have to have. Remember the eyes. You have to have the white part, the colored part, and the pupil. All right, well, let's, let's kind of take a look at that. I'll just work on an eye sort of separately here. I'll draw, you know, get, they're going to be, they're fairly big. The minions have fairly big eyes, and we want to fill that with white. Now, you know, you have some options here. I'm going to take the stroke off of that, but I'm going to go to the effect menu and stylize and do an inner glow. Now, I want this inner glow to be black, so I'm going to change the color of the glow to black. And probably just going to use a normal screen mode. I'll increase the blur some here. I want to preview that. And see, I'm starting to get that dark edge around there. I'm going to reduce that blur some now. I had it too much. So I'm just kind of getting that dark, soft edge around the eye. And I kind of like that look. So I'm going to click OK right there. That looks pretty good. All right. Now let me zoom in on that. I'm going to do Control Plus a couple of times and just zoom in so I can see that eye a little bit better as I work on it. Now the next part that I want to work on here is I want there to be some color and I'm going to give him a brown eye so you know, I'll just use a brown color on mine but that's that would be something where you have some choice about what you do. So I'll lay that in right about there and again you can go back and look at an example that you found on Google or on one of my on my example if you want to. So I'll lay that in right about there maybe stroke that just a smidge uh, just one point stroke. All right, making some progress here. Now remember it also, and I think what I'll do is just alt drag this and make it a little bit smaller and fill it with black because I gotta have a pupil. So I'll pull that in and drop it right in there and I want the pupil about like that. All right, making some pretty decent progress here. Now, you know, here's something I kinda like to do and it, this is up to you. I'm gonna draw a little white circle with no stroke Take my arrow tool here and drop it in because I like a little highlight on there. All right, so I've constructed an eye, but I want all that to stay together. So I'll select all of it and I'm going to group it. I'll go to Object and Group. Now let me zoom back out here and I can take this and just kind of drop it in place. Now it wouldn't be a bad idea, of course, here to alt drag that and then maybe transform and reflect. Click OK there. And I'll lay that eye in there. Alright, so I wouldn't make two eyes. You know, if it were me doing it, I would make one eye and then use it twice. Alright, well let's look at a couple of other components of this. The goggles really aren't too tricky, I don't think. You can make the goggles with a nice thick stroke and no fill. And I'm going to make them kind of a gray color. Make the stroke color just kind of gray. I want to lay that on there to try them on for size because I want to make sure you can see the eyes through there. It looks pretty good to me. I'm going to all drag it so I have two of them. And I just lay the other one so they kind of overlap in the middle. And those are doing their job. That looks pretty good. I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. Now the, the minions have that strap around their head to keep the goggles on and I'm just going to accomplish that by using a rounded rectangle. Not very big. It's kind of like that. But I need to turn that stroke way down and fill it just with a gray color. In fact I might take that stroke off. Once I have one of those, I think I'll alt drag it to kind of double it up so it looks like that. Once I have two of those, I'll alt drag those, bring them over here, and those goggles aren't terrible. We've got to work on a mouth here. I want him to be kind of frowning like he's dismayed. So I'm going to make an oval, alt drag it. Let me make that a little bit wider, the second oval. Sort of like that. Get him selected and do a minus front. Now that leaves me with roughly that kind of a shape. 
and you can see how I used it over here. Now I'm going to fill it with black, bring it out here, size it a little bit, <clears throat> excuse me. Now the other thing that I would really like to have here is some teeth, but I want the teeth to go inside. Let's use that trick that we learned a long time ago called draw inside. It's at the bottom of the tool panel. There's these three little buttons and I'll do draw inside. I'm going to use a rounded rectangle and I'll just draw a tooth that kind of sticks down like that. But I want that to be filled with white. Now I'll take my black arrow tool and very carefully I'll drag that give him a couple more teeth. I'm going to go back to draw normal. Bottom of the tool panel, three buttons, draw normal. I'll zoom back out. The only thing this dude really needs is hair. That can be done pretty easily with the paintbrush, except that I had it drawing with white. And if you do a Google search for images of the minions, you'll see a lot of different hairstyles. So you can kind of do whatever you like with that hairstyle. And that's not bad. There's some tips for making a minion. If you choose this option, you can try it out. It should be ready to go. Have at it.